Greetings streamers, today we're going to show you another great video and on this occasion we're going to show you how to configure the home menu on your Google TV devices. On this occasion we're doing it in our TCL Smart TV 43K with the Google TV operating system. So all you need to do is go to the settings options and then look for the accounts and sign in. Once you're there, just go and check out the option that has to do with your services and this allows you to control your paid services from your home screen so that you don't get content being uh, displayed if you don't want to have your home screen too saturated. But another option is to actually disable those suggestions and only enable the apps only mode. And what this will do, it will only show you the apps that you have installed on your Google TV. No recommendations, no live TV sections, nothing at all. We do apologize for blurring the images, but we have to do so in order to comply with YouTube copyright guidelines and policies. So again, we are sorry for that. Now, you can also do something. Let's go and turn off the um, apps only mode, and we'll show you something else that you can configure, the Google Assistant. If you want to use the Google Search Assistant, either by voice or by text, you can actually enable it for the apps that do are compatible with this option so that when you look for something, it will look on those apps. You choose which apps you want to have the Google Assistant and which ones you don't. You can do it from the home menu, very important. So let's go and also show you how to set your content preferences. And this has to do with the recommendations and the content that will appear on your home screen. Uh, if you click to the right, it will tell you that you like more content like that. If you click to the left, it means less content. And since we have been watching a lot of lately, a lot of action movies, it's going to show us shows us mostly action genre movies across the multiple apps that we have installed in our uh, in our Google TV. So this is what it's showing us. And once you set up your content preference, what it will do is that every now and then it will be updating the content that is related to genre on the apps that you have install on the home menu very important so let's go and check out something really important if you're outside the us you will not be able to fully control the home screen setup but if you are in the united states google enables you certain options that are only for that area on which you can even tailor more the content that shows up on your home screen so let's go and set it up as if we were in the united states using our vpn and you can see that we already have the live tv section enabled which is exclusive for google tv systems in the us now you will see that we have more or less the same uh, our apps recommendations and such but let's go ahead and show you where you can tailor more specifically your home menu you will find that there's free life new sections popular movies and everything is based on the apps that we have installed and the options that are free and are part of the google tv operating system on the home screen you will find new for instance uh, wallpapers uh, topics about father's day and so such uh, sporting events and things like that so let's just go scroll all the way down where it says manage your services and what you will do here is that you will actually toggle on or off which services you want to have displayed on your home menu very important you can choose which ones you want to have and which ones you don't this only works if you are in the united states if you're outside in the united states you will then need to log on or configure it so that it shows as if you were in the States using the VPN and you can turn, turn off all of the services including those that are available in your country so that you don't have your home menu too saturated with a lot of combinations from apps you already have installed on your device. So it allows you to have a more organized home menu so you don't have to browse a lot of content or browse through a lot of content but again it's up to you. This is one way to configure it or you can just use the just apps mode. Please don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell icon to get notifications and give us a like if you do enjoy this video. Any questions or comments are always welcome. Please don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching and have a great weekend. Goodbye.